Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn how to find the mean, the mode, the median, standard deviation and the variance in Excel. Let's start! Alright, so let's say that we have um, this data and I want to go ahead and find the average or I want to go ahead and find the mean. Look how easy, You first of all you put equal, then you do a and as you can see here, when you start clicking on it, Excel starts, he will guess what you want to do. So I just go ahead and grab them from the bottom to the top and I'm just basically telling Excel, please find the average from B1 to B11. Enter, bingo. I don't like that many decimals, so you can just uh, put format cells. I always do this. And then I can do number, let's just put two. Um, as you can see here, when you format the cells, you have general, number, currency. We're talking about money. You can do it here. But in this case, I'm just going to put numbers. And look, I can actually increase and decrease the decimals. This is extremely important, especially in those my math lab, statistic lab, all of those softwares that are very picky about decimals. So. Please go ahead and make sure that you do this because I promise you, your homework is going to be done in a second. So I'm just going to put OK. Uh, let's say that we find we want to find the median. Again, do not forget the parentheses. If not, Excel is going to give you an error. Close parentheses. Bingo. Uh, we can also find the mode. Look how easy. Da -da -da -da. Then we can also find the standard deviation now. You do S, T, D, E, and then you see that you have a bunch of them. We're just going to pick this one. S, T, D, E, V, then you just put all the numbers. If you don't put the parentheses, Excel will give you an error. But look, how easy is that? Again, I right-click, Format Cells, I do Number, and let's put three decimals. All right. So... So easy. You can find the average, which is also the mean. Um, here, if you double click, you can see the median. Here, the mode. Here, we can do the standard deviation. Now, if I want the variance, I just do this guy and I square it. And you can see it's huge. So again, I can format my cells. Put, uh, look at that, 14 decimal. Ew. Three. There you go. Awesome. And that's how easy it is. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to look at our other videos. And again, thanks so much for learning.